Ladies and gentlemen, this dude that I'm about to bring to you is an awesome actor and director of the documentary, Beats, Rhymes, and Life, to give us remarks and show us a video. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Rappaport. I know that, uh, first of all, all the people, the, 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 just the, the regular fans that came, I know Fife would be so appreciative, and he would be like, yo, they came, fam? So, um, I, 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 um, I'm just uh, humbled to, 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 to have done anything, um, you know, I'm 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 a fan, you know, and uh, that's why I wanted to 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 make the movie in the first place. And um, you know, I had known Ali a little bit, and I had um, known Q-Tip a little bit before we started making the movie. And uh, I, I didn't know Fife, and um, you know, I, I uh, you know, the first time. We, we interviewed with him, I was like, it, for me, it was as if I was interviewing Paul McCartney or Keith Richards or something. Like, I was like so nervous and, you know, and, and um, I didn't know what he was gonna say. I didn't know what he wasn't gonna say. I was intimidated by this little short guy. <laughs> and, um, you know, he, he, he gave his, his heart and soul as soon as he started talking. And, and I remember the first time, you know, he talked about Disha and, and he talked about what he was going through. And, um, you know, there was no, you know, I know there, like I never, I never had the, the courage to call him Malik because I was always such a fan. Even as we, 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 we became friendly, I we became friends, I, I just, I was just like, you know, it's Fife Dog from A Tribe Called Quest. Like, I just always was like, that's Fife. Um, I didn't plan on, on, on anything specific. You know, I, I, I feel like, you know, there's, there's so many things that, you know, have been going through my head listening to everybody talk. I wonder if um, up until last night, God had a chance to meet Fife intimately, but I'm sure after North Carolina lost that game, <laughs> He probably was made well aware of this guy. <laughs> because that's the first thing that came into my mind was he must have just been going bananas. Um, there's so many uh, people in here that I'm, that I'm fans of. And, and uh, I'll just say this, um, you know, I'm surprised there hasn't been any girls up here talking because one thing that I was always impressed and taken aback by, and it, and it was, was he would refer to this person or that person, and this girl and this that girl as my friend. Oh, you, you got to speak to so and so. She's my friend. You got to speak to so and so. She's my best friend. You know, and I was always like, this is a good dude. Like, you know, he's got like, cause you know, guys, you know, we sometimes we don't aren't mature enough to have that. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Um, you know, a, a couple of a couple of us put together um, a little video just to celebrate um, to celebrate Fife, and um, you know, um, my my heart goes out to to his family and um, and his close friends and you know um, to Disha and you know I'll, I'll tell you one thing you know another thing. When we were making that movie, he, I would literally, he would literally cry tears numerous times talking about you and what he, what you meant to him. And and um, and I remember one time he was like, you know, 
you can't use that shit, fam. And, and I was like, no, we won't use anything. Because to me, I'm talking to Keith Richards. Like, I'm like, okay. And then he would say, you know, you could use whatever you, whatever you want, you, whatever you want. But like, it, it, it was, it was a, a common experience, occurrence where he would literally cry talking about you and what you meant to him. Um, so we, 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 we put together a little thing um, and um, I'm, I'm proud to have gotten to know him and, and I'm proud that um, collectively, you know, you know the, the guys in the group know, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan and, and that, that we were able to put something that, you know, will hopefully, you know, more fans could get a, a slice of uh, insight into what this guy was like. Because at the end of the day, he was, you know, there was no separation between, you know, like Fife the character and Malik the person, you felt like you knew that person. And uh, there was no put-ons. He was exactly what he said he was in, in the music. And that's, um, you know, a special thing. And I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, the music and, and, and Fife Dog, the, the, the character within the group, will, will be around longer than all of us. So I hope you enjoy this. And, um, you know, uh, my thoughts and prayers are for, for everybody here. I'm going to say some, some interesting news and some disappointing news at the same time. Uh, about a year or two ago, maybe, we were talking about doing a Tribe Called Quest and Outcast album. 